we will talk about different kinds of facts on the internet. If we don't want to fall in the chat set by the hackers, we must be aware of different facts on the internet, such as data interception, phishing, fraudulent website, and DNS spoofing. Data interception refers to an authorized access to information sent in the network. Suppose you send these characters A, B, C in the network. If you send these characters in the form of ping test, the hackers can get your ping test, your data in the network. This is very dangerous because ping test is not encrypted in the internet. Okay, any middleman such as this hacker can get the original information. So, how to prevent data interception? We may use encryption. This time, if you send A, B, C, you will encrypt this A, B, C from ping test, from ping test to cipher test. In the level, ABC is sent in the form of this one, strange character. Even the hacker can intercept, can intercept the, the data packets. He cannot understand. He cannot understand the original meaning. He cannot get the original ping test from the cipher test. Only the, only the recipient, blowing the key, can decrypt the cipher test to ping test and understand what you sent to him, what, is, what, what you sent to her, okay? Another kind of fault on the internet is phishing. Phishing emails may look like coming from a company that you trust, such as a bank, a credit card company, a social media website, okay? The title, the subject of the phishing emails always tell a story to trick you to click on a link or even open an attachment, which always is a virus file, okay? Scampers want your personal information, such as your password and account numbers. Hong Kong Military Authority provide us some smart tips against phishing. Please look at the name of the sender of the phishing emails may be exactly the same as the genuine information of the related band. The email always sends you a, an important notification and your request to click the hyperlink or open an attachment, okay? The email always looks like coming from the genuine website. But if you click, if you put your mouse over the hyperlink, you will look that the actual hyperlink embed is another URL, which leads you to a fake website, fraudulent website. Cyber criminals make these fraudulent websites in order to get your sensitive personal data, such as your username or password. Links of these fraudulent websites are always sent by phishing web mails. The fake website looks like the design of the target website. However, its domain name is slightly different from the genuine domain name. Almost all the banks in Hong Kong has reported to the Hong Kong Monetary Authority that there are corresponding fraudulent websites. So fraudulent websites are not uncommon in Hong Kong. DNS spoofing. In normal cases, if you type 
B A N K dot band. The DNS server will direct you to the genuine website of band.com. But if you go out to a cafe, um, you will, you may join the Wi-Fi network detect at the cafe. But have you ever considered that this Wi-Fi level is safe? Is this Wi-Fi level set up by a hacker, or is the Wi-Fi level hacked? If the Wi-Fi level or the DNS server is hacked, when you type band.com, you will be redirected to a fake website, which looks exactly the same as the genuine website. So you will be checked and you may lose your personal data to the hacker, such as your username and password. So, we must be aware of different kinds of threats on the internet to protect our privacy. Because identity theft is the crime of obtaining a personal or financial information, which in course, which in course, you the loss of your reputation. Being a victim of this data abuse can damage your personal or company's reputation. I will show you some emails. You have to determine whether it is fake or genuine. This is case one. This is case two. This is case three. We will discuss whether it is fake or genuine in the lesson. This is case four. If we don't want to fall into chats set by the hackers, we must be aware and understand different kinds of threats on the internet. Thank you for watching.